Have you ever wondered what it was like to take a mobility scooter on an airplane? Watch me as I take a journey across the United States on an airplane with a mobility scooter. Mobile Direct. We're talking about Mobility Direct. I'll show you everything from the check-in process, TSA security, boarding the plane, landing, getting off the plane, collecting your baggage, and even going outside to get cold. So, check it out. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Drew with Mobility Direct and today I'm going to be showing you how to travel on an airplane with a mobility scooter or power wheelchair. Many of you might have questions as to how to do it, TSA security, the airlines, it's all a bunch of questions. In this event, we're going to be using a mobility scooter. We're going to be taking four flights across the United States and we're going to come back. So we're going to give TSA a test and the airlines a test to see if they can meet all requirements of the ADA so that we can safely travel across the United States free. After all, it is our right. All right, and if you go to the U.S. Department of Transportation's website, you can find Airline Passenger with your Disability Bill of Rights. In 1990, the Americans with Disabilities Act was uh, signed, and that uh, prevents any discrimination uh, based on any disability, and your right to travel is protected as a constitutional right. So this document here will provide you a plethora of information of your rights of free travel here in the United States with a disability. So here we are on our way to the Wilkes-Barre International Airport. We're just arriving and we're going to show you exactly how easy it is to travel with a mobility scooter. So we're going to go through the whole process from beginning to end and give you an educated understanding of how to travel. There's a lot of people out there that have no idea that they can travel with their mobility scooter. So here we are unloading the scooter and setting it up. So with my suitcase in one hand and me driving the scooter with the other, I'm able to ride into the check-in to this nice beautiful airport. It's a very small airport indeed. It's probably the smallest international airport I've ever been to, but some of the very nicest people here. So we're going through the check-in area and we're going to declare that we have our mobility scooter because we need to do that and because we have lithium batteries we need to inform them of the lithium batteries so when traveling with a mobility scooter it's important to identify what type of batteries that are in the mobility scooter and if it's lithium there is a certain capacity that is allowed by TSA and the FAA and that is 300 watt hours on a lithium battery uh, the battery cannot exceed that and when traveling with a mobility scooter that has a lithium battery it must be removable so you remove the battery and that will go in with yeah, your carry-on baggage. This is the old one. This is the old one. Yes, thank you. What we're going to want to do is gate check our mobility scooter and make sure that we get our mobility scooter back in between each flight. 
So what's going to happen is we're going to check in the scooter, but I'm going to take this through TSA. And what I'm going to get is a little tag that goes on the scooter that is just like a tag for your luggage, but it's for a wheelchair. And what that's going to do is it's going to alert the people who are working at the gate that they are traveling with a passenger with disabilities. So there's certain information, as you can see on the card, that will identify my information along with my property and where my yes, it, mobility device is going to be brought, whether it's going to be in the luggage or brought to me at the gate. I prefer to have it gate checked. This way, I have transportation right when I get off the flight and I don't have to rely on others. At this time, because I have declared that I have a mobility scooter with a lithium battery, there's going to be some additional questions that's going to come from the airline employees. And this is for all of our safety as well as yours. Do you take it with you on board? Yeah, it comes, up, it comes off the scooter and it comes in my, my bag. Like it, very thorough. Huh? Very thorough. Very thorough. Um, are you able to walk yourself on board the aircraft or no? Yes. Okay, so we'll take so it to the very end. Take it right to them where the yeah, and then uh, strollers are. Take battery with you and head on. Thank you, ma'am. You can place those up on the scale when you get a second. I got you. And let me tell you, what you're about to see next is absolutely imperative, and that is that the airline employees actually inspect your battery to make sure it meets you want the MSDS sheet? No. FAA regulations. She doesn't, uh, I can't read that tiny, but... As you can see, she's reading the label on the back of the battery, where the watt hours and voltage is clearly displayed. It's... But it's also a lithium battery it is. that needs to be out. So, Correct. I mean, that's probably what we'll put as a lithium. Yes. Only because you're going to take it with you. Yes. Anything lithium, then when you carry that on board, we got to let the pilot know also Absolutely. that it's inside with you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're just I making love it. sure. Absolutely. Mama knew what she got. They gave Andrew all the instructions and he knows what to do. Anyway, so they let the people know. Just put it like that. Make sure that you stay up to date with the Federal Aviation Administration, aka the FAA, for up to date wheelchair mobility devices regulations. So I just found out how to turn the lights off. Uh, nice. Thank you. I'll put it on. Appreciate you. Okay, so now as you can see that this wonderful airline employee has my tag for my mobility scooter and I'm gonna be on my way to TSA very shortly here just collecting my last bit of personal information and belongings and I'm gonna be on my way. Oh, were you here last time? It's possible. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we give people <clears throat> real life experiences via 360 camera. It's oh. virtual reality, and you know what to expect. So we're advocates for. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's good. This is a lot of learning. That's yes. good because there's a lot of uh, things to do. It. Yeah. We usually put it in the back, but something that won't come off. I think it stays here. Good. All right. Yep. Is a new scooter. With that being uh, said, it's, uh, a new you will get your mobility scooter back with it already, and at the gate on it. Yeah. You when you awesome. arrive from your flight. Oh, nice. When you take uh, off, sure you will yeah, also see, take uh, your scooter uh, right up to the gate, and an employee will take yeah. it from there. Every person. And I don't like flying, so you know we're not. <laughs> so what is that? Mobile Direct. We're mobility about Direct, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, very well. So we'll yeah. see you. And you'll just uh, give the key. We'll take it down to the bottom of the jet bridge and stuff yes. like that. With them, you'll tell them how because you you can move that without the key too, Correct. right? It's light. It's right, because they'll usually put that down there. So when you get to the gate, um, it's going to go down through the elevator, not through the um, jet. Bridge. No, 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 no. They're we'll go down. They'll take it downstairs. Just take it right where the stroller is. Yep. Yeah. Thank you all very right, much, guys. guys. Have a great one. Thank you so much for all your help. Yes. Thank you. Okay, see you.
So we're on standby for 2.30, no guarantee we get out, but we might. I'm gonna make a video in the airport if we don't. Now that we're Absolutely. wrapping things up here, we're gonna Elevator. head on over to TSA. And it's very important to note that when traveling through an airport, you need to use elevators. Do we go, Leo? You don't want to use anything that's not safe, so make sure that you locate your handicap placards so and you use an elevator when necessary. Fall. And make sure you, know you stay off any electronic sidewalk. That's strange. So what? here, as you can see, we're going to take the elevator and go ahead up to the next floor. And you should note that. I'm also going to enter the elevator with two other full-grown adults. So you're going to see how easy it is for me to enter the elevator and get where I need to go. Any rides is so aggressively that if he was going like on carpet, that battery drops real quick when it's struggling. I've seen that. Make sure you visit the TSA website for an up-to-date regulations of battery-powered wheelchairs and mobility devices. Here you will find the limitations on if your scooter or power wheelchair meets federal transit regulations. Standard. And here we are arriving to TSA and we're going to go through the stanchions here. I was offered a, a little help to get through, but I didn't need it. It's all fun. He's a professional. So as you can see, it's pretty maneuverable. It's definitely wide enough for me to get through. It sure is. And just going around a couple more times. Just enjoying myself. Let's go right. It can crash right through. All right, so make sure that you have your ID and your boarding pass handy. So this is two. No, that's to Fort Lauderdale. And approach the checkpoint when you are authorized to do so. It's cold weather. Thank you, sir. Well, coming back from 86 degree weather. That's a bit of a shock. Yeah, we'll be here in January too, so it'll be even colder. Pardon the black eye. No, you're smiling more than the photo. Appreciate it. Alright, so now we're going to go have our bags inspected and get me screened. Now they're going to look over me and the mobility scooter. Because it's a, an electronic device, they're going to check me for specifically explosives to make sure that I haven't touched anything. And yep. it goes through a, a very lengthy process, but it's required and it's the most safe thing to do. If you don't want to do this, don't travel with a mobility scooter. I have to get everything out of my bags just like everybody else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two? Just one laptop and oh, okay. my bag. Nothing in your pockets. There's nothing in my pockets. Are you able to take your shoes off? Or can you walk it a little? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Let them know. I would ask you. We got a cane too, if you need. I would ask you for your coat. Standard. Okay. Only the one electronic, right? Yes, sir. Um, yep. 
it's empty. Okay, we're gonna split this up. No other electronic in here. Okay, this we're gonna split up. In a moment here, I'm going to move forward to a special screening area where I will be searched for any metal objects or any items that should not be with my person. Now, I'm a safe traveler and I like to travel as easy as possible so I don't I don't travel with much. So the less you have, the easier the experience will be for you. Yeah, it's all in there. Okay, you don't have a lot of a laptop Good morning. As you can see, you? this lovely TSA agent is going to guide me over into this special area, and we're going to continue the security checkpoint. As you can see, my belongings just went through the x-ray, and I'm going to avoid that machine right there that senses anything on your body, but they're going to completely check over my entire body to make sure that there's nothing on me. So because I cannot go into that device to my left, I have to be physically inspected from head to toe. And pardon the black eye here in the video, I am a, uh, had a little bit of a, an accident. That's my bag. That's your bag. Can you rerun this bag? Absolutely. Right, Has any of your property come out yet? Has any of your property come out yet? No, not yet. Okay, well, my so shoes. All right, office. don't leave them there. Okay. okay. Right, this so since you have me cleared yet, we have to wait. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll gather your property, and we'll step to the side, and I'll uh, give you instructions as to what we're going to pass that point. Thank you. Too, Are you? Yes. Okay. okay. Is it good for him to watch your things for you? It would be great. It would be appreciated. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. He can actually do it. I'm just going to wait till the rest of your stuff comes out. And when he comes through, thank you. Uh, what we'll that's do is he'll watch. So once he comes through, he'll watch your property and step aside. Thank you. Now, before we continue here, I want to make sure that I gather all my belongings and that either somebody is looking after my belongings or I collect all of my belongings after they've been through the x-ray machine or physically inspected. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. <laughs> okay, all right. So you go ahead and stand up. We can catch up with the other side of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water cable with the back of my hand. That's uh, his. Is this? Okay. Of course, we can hear how it's all of our stuff. Yeah, that's basically all of our stuff. Right down by my butt, I had an operation. Are you sure he's going to be able to eat a paper? Okay. No problem. Appreciate it. Pretty good private. No, it's good, yeah. All right. Turn your face down. All right. Turn your face down. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Have a good day. Sir, why don't you come on down? Next pass, you have a little more space. Hey, sir. Take it out of my way. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. So, do you mind watching the property while I come up? Yeah, we're going to go. All right, so we're actually going to go. Okay, I'm going to catch you at that. Thank you, sir. So we're going to move around this side. Okay. Just so we have a little more space. Now that we're through with the luggage screening, we're going to advance to the pat down and as you can see, I'm giving full detail of what to expect and I do comply because I really want to travel today and get home. And at this point, we are going to be checked from head to toe. It is a completely thorough screening process and they're going to make sure that there's absolutely nothing on me. Once they determine that there's nothing on me, I will be screened for explosive on my hands explosive on the mobility device and a test on the TSA agent to make sure that he hasn't touched anything. So it's a three-step process. Okay, then you know what? You can just stay this way. You're going to face the same direction. Hold the chair. You're going to put your arms out. Yeah. That's your hand. Go straight out like an airplane and actually to the side. There we go. All right. Let me check the collar. Just give me one second. Once I check your arms, I have you lower your arms. I don't want you to lose your mouth. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Keep your arms up. Just explaining how you do it. Understand. All right. Great. All right. Once you go ahead and load this arm so you don't lose your balance, I don't want you to. No, no, no. Just so you can keep your balance. There you go. All right. I don't want you to lose your balance because, like I said, we're going over a lot of areas. Thank you. This might take a minute. I don't want you to lose your balance at all. Right. Wait for me one second. All right. All right. 
Arms up for one second. All right, you can relax, hold your balance. Check your chest here. And move on to your waistband, one second. All right, I'm going to ask that you take a step back so I'm going to go around. Why don't you hold the edge of the seat? There we go, perfect. All right, same as four. So same, all right. Way to be thorough, man. <laughs> I know it's a little much. Wait one second. Um, where's the girl? White ball, please. No, make sure you get it. Fine. Yeah. Text the chair anyway. So regardless, if you text the chair and it, that happens, I have to check it in her office. Okay, yeah. Don't worry about it. Versus me, then it's the chair. Hold the hat for one second. And now that the pat down has been conducted, a physical search of the mobility device will be concluded and then screened for explosive materials. So they're going to swab around the seat, common areas that would be touched, any seams of any seats because of things that can be in hidden areas. They want to make sure that nothing has been touched with any regard to any explosive or any hazardous materials. Run that underneath you. Yeah. You can flip the scooter upside down. No, 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 it's not necessary, not necessary. Is this a compartment right here? It's the battery. Oh, okay, then that's fine. You've done it one more second. Once that's clear, no, no, it's fine. You don't have to do all that. I understand. Battery compartment's fine. I appreciate that, though. Yeah, absolutely. You want your shoes? We got Please. Yes. All right, you're all set, sir. Thank you. No problem. Need some help getting in, Joe? Okay, thank you very much. Just making sure. Now that my mobility scooter and myself have been cleared by TSA, I can now advance to my gate where I can board my flight. And I also have to mention here that TSA did a stand-up job in making sure that they screened me and my mobility device thoroughly. Don't back in anybody. They've been absolutely great here at Bulk's Bar. They've been great. I got a nice live uh, shorts video there. Fantastic. Thank you for everything and thank you for being uh, very thorough. Have a great one. Thank you. Um. All right, so now that we are advancing through the airport, we're going to arrive to our gate. And I would like to mention that if you travel with a disability, you may board the plane first or one of the first few people to board the plane. So you just have to make sure that you check in at the gate counter and speak with the representative accordingly. So now we're going to go ahead and advance to the gate so that we can get on the plane so we can go home. Yeah, 
much does your scooter weigh? 62 pounds. Thank you. You're welcome. This is a security advisory. For your safety, please do not leave luggage unattended. Unattended luggage will be removed. What kind of battery is it? It's lithium. You want me to take it out the, at the end? It's lithium, but yes. you're going to remove it, right? Yes. You're going to bring it with you on board? Yes. So tell me your seat again. What was your seat again? 33 seat. You got it. I see that. It's, it's sealed. It's enclosed. Thank you, ladies. All right, so here we are. We're getting on, getting on the plane. So as you can see, we're going down the jet bridge and we are going to leave the scooter at the very end where you would leave the strollers. So that's gonna be right at the very end of the jet bridge, just before you get onto the aircraft. Okay, now that I have reached my destination, I'm going to remove my key, get off the scooter, and I'm going to leave the scooter open, not folded, and I'm going to remove the battery pack. And I'm probably going to remove the basket too because those are notorious for falling off in flight. My scooter is lightweight, so it's going to be easy for the airline employees to load the mobility scooter onto the plane. something. I feel like I'm missing something. Huh? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. But there's no battery. Oh, so you want me to put the battery back in it? Well, just to our release the brakes. It, no, it, it, it has to work with the, with it in there. Oh, okay. No, it's fine then. It's fine. You sure? I don't... It's got a handle where you could tilt it and kind of pull it like a suitcase. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, don't worry. Just stick the key. It's fine. Thank you. Right, no problem. All righty. If you, you want me to fold it for you? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Where's the battery? Where's the battery? I have the battery. Do oh, you have it in there? Yes. Thank you. It's, it's enclosed and it's uh, got its own pouch. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. Hello. Those two. Waiting in line with Lisa to see if we see Charlie Cabin for departure. And now that we have boarded our flight, I'm going to kick back, relax.
All right, and now that we have arrived to our destination, we are going to get off the airplane, make sure that we gather our belongings before exiting the aircraft. And as soon as we exit the aircraft, our mobility scooter should be waiting right there at the beginning of the jet bridge. And we'll go ahead and put our battery back on it. And I have to say that traveling with American has been absolute stellar experience. I have had an amazing time and everything has gone perfectly. So those bad bad boys. Who is it? Thank you so much. Have a great one. You too. Oh, there's the scooter waiting. All right. The waiting. There's my chariot. Here's my mobility scooter as expected. And Hello. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to put my camera on, get myself prepared, and get on out of this jet bridge into the terminal so I can head on over to Baggy. Thank you. Thank you for looking after my scooter. Baggage claim to the right. So we made it, guys. I think I, it was a great experience, and American Airlines did an awesome job at accommodating my needs. They're very accommodating. They were very accommodating. They actually wanted to upgrade my seat and move me to row one, but I decided not to. And they give you free alcohol. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Well, That's I a didn't perk. Either, but I found out. Amen. I don't drink and drive. Good job. Thank you. Again, when traveling in an airport, make sure to use elevators when necessary. It's very important. Did you bring both of your bags? On? All right. Now I am approaching baggage claim where I patiently wait for my bags to arrive. Now, this is where it would come in handy if you had a helper with you. But I wanted to play it off like I was completely independent and I wanted to gather my own luggage on my own. So, just to show you what it's like to travel alone with a mobility scooter. So, during this trip, I've had little to no help and I have got myself from point A to point B and I'm ready to go home. When traveling, I like to use bright colored luggage. It helps me locate and identify my luggage easier and quicker. And my suitcase is about 35 pounds on this trip. And you can see it coming here on the turnstile. And I'm going to remove it from the belt. Just grab it and lift it right off. At this point, I get everything I need and I can exit the airport. Got my luggage? We out. Now you want to call the Uber? Now you want to call the Uber? All right, now that it's all said and done, I have successfully traveled with a mobility scooter across the United States on an airplane independently for my first time. And I have to say that the experience was absolutely pleasurable. Everyone that I dealt with was cordial and happy and helped me get to where I needed to go.
So if you like documentaries like this one, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Drew with Mobility Direct. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. It's stability, it only take a sec. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you dealing with the best. Mobility direct. It's stability, it only take a sec. Take a sec. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Mobility direct, direct, direct.